Welcome everyone to another episode of Red Panda Party Postcon Review. It's a mouthful, but remember it because this episode is from Zenkai Con, which I was visiting uh, about two weeks ago. And it was one of the conventions that I was looking forward to and still are looking forward to even next year. But this year was a little more subdued. So we're gonna hit you with the review grade right off the bat. Might be wondering what these masks are for. This right here, this right here, you got Jimbanyan and, oh, Jimbanyan, bam. And one of them, one of them. Anyway, I give it one mask out of two. And that's not a bad thing. The reason for that is my expectations for this convention were, were pretty set low. And I had a good time, don't get me wrong, but there was a lot of things I wanted to do and things like the weather. It rained a lot that weekend, and that really threw a monkey wrench into all the plans that I wanted to do. Um, primarily wanted to do a little bit of bar hopping. Wanted to check out this right here. There was a bar where you can throw axes that I heard people went to, but walking there was kind of a hindrance. So uh, by the time, you know, we got hungry, my friends got hungry, um, plans just kind of got shot out. So maybe next time. Lancaster, um, but did get to go see a lot of cosplay, which, you know, you'd think at an anime convention, it was, you know, not really an afterthought, but something that's a focus. And this time it was big, big, big time. Um, was able to make the Ruby cosplay photo shoot and was able to see the Marvel versus DC photo shoot, which was huge. They had a lot of people. Um, posted it on Instagram, posted it on Facebook. Um, so check out links somewhere down, down here. And from there, um, some of the surprises. Um, I was really surprised by the dance parties. Friday and Saturday night, they were really nice. Um, you had DJ Steph K, DJ High Five, and Hyper Potions, which definitely brought some amazing sets and the crowd's energy was really great too. Um, another highlight, again, this is actually where I got this stuff from, was Nintendo was there on Saturday. So Saturday in the afternoon, Nintendo was there for a few hours and this might be kind of weird. I might have to cut this out because it's green screen, but uh, Splatoon 2 and Yokai Watch and Labo um, was one of their main focuses. So they were out there displaying and showing off the new uh, stuff for the Switch and just getting people excited about it, which I was already excited, so I was just like, hey, what else do they have there? Tournaments in the arcades was big, Dragon Ball Z, Fighters Z, and uh, Street Fighter V, and Smash Brothers were kind of the main highlights, um, in addition to um, like the DDR and dancing games. So one of the big presents in Zenkai Com was the actual tabletop area, tabletop room, I should say, but it's actually pretty, pretty huge. When I got there Friday, I remember doing a lap and there was just a lot of people already in there, already in the thick of it, you know, spreading the cards out. You know, you had games like Magic, Flux, um, you had people doing um, board games and it seemed like there were people just friends already doing their own thing. So it, was, it might've been a little bit hard to jump into it, but um, that's something that if you're into it, you know, that's another key point to check out for Zenkai Con. If you're into it, definitely check it out. Uh, panels was the next highlight, which there's a lot of panels going on. Again, not something that I was really into at the moment, but you know, I was made sure to pop into a few of them. Uh, so if you had the handy dandy guide, you can flip through, check out which ones they were. I mean, there was a lot of live programming and also screening. So they were showing movies and um, anime, you know, around the clock up until about 2 a.m. So we touched up on it in our preview video. Zenkai Con is kind of like our welcome home con. It's like a homecoming. So if other cons like Katsukan, which was about a month or two before, is prom, this is homecoming. So a little more subdued, a little less stress, but you can still dress up, get yourself nice, and uh, flaunt it a little bit. So toss on your cosplay, wander the crowds, go to a photo shoot, and everything is just nice and local. And you don't have to really, really worry about, you know, is stuff going wrong or any of that. You know, this is, you can, nice, you can chill, you can relax yourself a little bit. Vacation, you know what I'm saying? Key point for Zenkai Con, 
every time we go to Zankai Con is to have fun with our friends. In the end, is to have fun with our friends. Be it in cosplay, be it walking around the town exploring, um, having a few drinks, eating food, hitting a panel, playing a fighting game. Have fun with your friends, maybe make some new friends. And that's what we did. You know, still ended up doing that. Um, the weather, you know, kind of hindered a lot of that, but we're able to still, you know, hang out in the convention area. We hang out at the bar in the hotel, which was nice, and you know, get some food and still relax, still have fun, and still make some other friends too. Cause the lobby was popping this year. Any time of the day you can walk in the lobby. There's always people in cosplay, people taking pictures, people hanging out and even into the late night. So even after the dances, there's people hanging out there and they're playing uh, werewolf. I forget the, the, the actual name of that game <laughs> and card games. So the lobby was very accommodating, um, which was really nice. So thank you hotel staff for letting us do that. And um, that, that was about it. I mean, it was just a very relaxing convention. Um, it was exactly what we wanted, but um, still did want to do a little bit more, but in the end, still had fun. And that's why I gave it. I gave it a Jibanyan out of uh, whatever this guy is again. So, how's that, how's that? I can't, I can't even look at that. Now, now one would say, Nelson, you know, the convention, are you are you feeling a little bit of uh, like convention fatigue? You know, are you, aren't you getting burnt out a little bit? And I'm not gonna lie, a little bit, a little bit. But that's the thing, that's good. Cause you know, I wanna hang around with my friends and this is one section to do that. So if I go again, which I think I will next year. Um, it is going to take place in, I believe, end of March. Let's take this, take this handy dandy book. Let's see. It's going to be, it's, it's not in the book. It's in my mind. I remember it's March 22nd through the 24th, 2019. Wow. Years gone by fast, but I think next year we might have to bring the whole, whole crew. We might just have to do a takeover. What do you think, Jeff? Just a whole RPP takeover. Try to do a pool party. No. Hot tub, bring the hot tub back. Oh, I didn't check the hot tub. I'm gonna call them tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna call them tomorrow. And I'm gonna see if that hot tub's working because if so, RPP takeover, Zenkai Khan. Get ready. We're gonna bring the hype. Rain, sleep, Sunshine, doesn't matter. So that wraps it up for another episode of the RPP postcon review for that right there, Zenkai Con. Um, if you were at Zenkai Con, you know, uh, post a comment below. If we did, saw you, you know, we appreciate it. Um, ironclad cosplay, I remember seeing you, boy. Good time hanging out, and we'll see you next year. Um, to everybody else, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. What else we got? Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. Look for just Red Panda Party. Just Google it. You'll find us. That's what's up. Anyway, talk to you next time. And, uh, oh, check out our Twitch. It's not all about anime, guys. Playing video games. Let's get it. Twitch, Red Panda Party. Make sure to like that, too. And uh, I'll see y'all later. I'll put this on. Yokai, Yokai, Yokai. Watch, Gigi. There's so many episodes of that show. I'm never going to catch up. <laughs>